Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well out there. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on um, somewhat of a collective haul. Um, back in November on Black Friday I made a surprise trip out to uh, Versace and I got a bag and it was pretty expensive and I decided that at that point I was kind of like taking a break from the high-end stuff. Uh, just kind of, you know, maybe give myself some time to recoup some money. I'm leaving for college also in August of this year, um, 2013, and I kind of thought to myself, you know, I'm not going to bring like my Louis or my Versaces with me to college because I don't want anybody to steal them in my dorm because it's kind of more like, I don't know. Uh, I've heard some horror stories about things being stolen out of dorm rooms, so I just want to be a little bit cautious. Um, plus, I'm leaving like five hours away, so I can't exactly just come home. Um, every weekend to get a new bag or whatever so I kinda thought that I would maybe go shopping a little bit lower end but um, some items or some brands that were you know pretty good quality but not exactly like a huge investment so I've been shopping a lot at coach lately um, and I've been really enjoying it because I can um, I know how to shop for it if you know that's the right way to putting it uh, I know exactly where to find it and where to buy it, um, really cheap and at a good price. Uh, so I have decided to shop Coach lately um, and these items have been from before Christmas and I just got a package in the mail today. Like, oh, oh boy. Um, it's going to be an actual like unboxing too. So I just got this in the mail so I'm really excited for that and I'm just going to get in I'm just going to get started. So the first item isn't technically from this haul, but I want to show it because I did get it somewhat, um, maybe like a month or two before I actually started doing this haul, or a little bit more than that. But anyways, um, it's a really great item and I want to share it uh, with you all. It is their small agenda, the Coach small agenda. It is in the op art, which is where it's the more circular C pattern. This is their... Um, patent leather gray op art and it's not my favorite pattern this was the only one that they had left it was the very last one in the store um, I this retails for $149 with um, it comes with a daily planner which I have in there and I took out the other one it's an address book though and that just kind of slots in there usually but I took it out because I don't really use it with the paper inserts um, and the agenda cover itself this retails for $149 full price, but I found it at the outlet stores uh, for only $30. So, like I said, I know how to shop for it and I know how to find it on sale. So I didn't exactly get like my first pick at um, colors or patterns or anything, but I was fine with it for $30. So everything else now is going to be a part of this haul. This is all since December. Um, I can't say exactly when, but like this is all December up until now. Um, and I made a stop at the store Bella Couture. It's a high-end uh, designer consignment shop and it is incredible there. It's so amazing. I'll put the website in the description box um, because I'm really great friends with the owners. They're absolutely like the greatest girls you ever meet. Uh, Kirsten and Kim, they are adorable. I love them both. I don't think they'll ship uh, outside of like our state or whatever but I mean they are a great consignment shop I love shopping there and it's um the stuff is incredibly high quality I've talked to the owner Kim many times and she will not take anything damaged or lower end or even stuff from an outlet store she is like me a frequent shopper so she kinda can tell the difference just between like a department store bag and an outlet bag which you know, your shopping consignment, it really is going to make a difference in price. Uh, so she doesn't keep anything that's less than department store quality. So I love shopping there and I stopped by when they were having this one event and I picked up two coach items as well. The first one is this little cosmetic bag. It is so cute. I had seen it there before, but I wasn't sure if I was actually going to buy it, but I decided that it was at a really good price um, and it's in great condition. So I did pick it up. And I can't remember, or I looked it up to find like this print, and I think it's some kind of pastel line, I'm not entirely sure, but I love the colors of it. 
The zipper goes from all the way at the bottom of one side to the other, so it's really nice, really easy to get into, and I have been using this thing non-stop. I hope nothing falls out. Okay. We did good. So, there's uh, the main compartment, obviously. I usually keep in, like, lip balms, uh, hand sanitizer, chapstick, some Advil in here. Um, but it's got the main compartment, two little flat pockets, and then another large flat pocket on the other side if I can actually... Whoops, there we go. There's everything falling out. There we go. One large flat pocket on the other side. And I think this um, cosmetic is a part of their... Um, like regular collection as far as they just come out with it in different prints so I would definitely look for this particular um, cosmetic bag again because it is great and I love it the next item is actually a part of their new collection so I was really surprised to see it in uh, Bella Couture and also um, it was at an incredible price like I honestly don't think an outlet clearance would beat it uh, but it is a small, I can't remember the name of it, I think it might be their checkbook wallet, don't quote me on that, I don't remember it, but it's one of their new wallets, um, or it's one of their wallets in the new style, they came out with this, I think it's Safiano leather, but uh, this nice kind of grain leather. Uh, it's really, really, really soft, and it's just got the little Coach New York on the front, really subtle and plain, and just one zipper pocket on the back for change. I have used this to death as well already, just in the short time of having it of like a little bit over a month, but I use this. It's empty right now. I did empty it just yesterday, actually, but it's got um, the main compartment here just has a little flap so you can separate. Uh, bills or whatever if you use it as a full wallet. I used it basically to hold checks and receipts and maybe like store loyalty or business cards or whatnot. Alright, so I moved the camera back a little bit just so I hope you guys can see it. But these next couple items um, I just got in the mail. I think there's two items in here, I'm pretty sure. And both of these pieces are from the men's line. The other three pieces were from women's line. These two are from the men's collection. It's hard to kind of find the pieces that I want in the men's store, so I had to order them online. Wow, okay. Oh my god, okay. all that paper. Oh, I wasn't even angling it at the camera right. Alright, there's the bag. Here is my receipt. It's just like that. And... The bag that I wanted is a full leather bag. I'm not a big fan of the monograms and full bags. I do have one bag in a monogram, but I don't like their logo bags uh, as much. But it doesn't show me prices on here. Okay, that's nice. Um, I'm pretty sure... Let me think. The one... The bag that I wanted was retailed for, I think, 400 like 398 and I ended up buying it for 174 and then I got another small accessory, which was like 48 down to 17 something. So I mean, they do have good sales on the outlet websites, and it's always like outlet price, then 30% off, and then like 10% off. It's like they have crazy sales. But let's get into unpackaging them now. So of course, they don't come in dust bags. It is a little disappointing, but I mean, it's like for outlet prices, I can't. I can't complain. So this, I'm obviously, oh wow, that's so nice, oh boy. Okay, so I only saw it online, I've never seen this in stores, which is really weird for me. Usually I have to look, see, smell, touch the bag before I buy it. I'm very, very picky with my bags. This was just an online purchase, I've never seen this in the store, and oh my god, the leather. I don't know why Coach doesn't make more leather bags, rather than like the textile monogram bags. Holy crap. That is really nice, but it's... Maybe I should take out some of the other wrappings first before I show it to you guys. Alright, so this is the bag. And they had made this in like a larger messenger style. Uh, but that one sold out. Um, by the time the second or third sale came around, it did sell out. So I jumped up onto this one. Let me show you the tag or whatever. So here's the little price tag. And this was 348. Let me just get that open. There we go. It was 348 down to 174. And where is the style? There it is. It's the map bag. Is it really? 
Yeah, it's a map bag, because the other bag that I have from Coach, like a messenger style, is a map bag, but uh, it's a lot different than this one. But this one is an SV saddle. Alright, I'm sorry if my lighting is changing, it's getting darker in here. But on the front, it's got the, um, what is this? A coach embossing in like that century gothic style. And the inside is a brown, dark brown textile. And whoa, this is this is new. Okay, on all coach bags they have the creed. Um, that's one way to tell an authentic. I have to redo my authentication video on coach, but they have the creed. But now it's a credit card case. That's really nice. That's actually a really really good idea on coach's part. I would have never expected that. That's really nice. Um, that might be a men's bag kind of thing. My other one doesn't have that though. But uh, lots of compartments in here. I don't. There we go. There's two compartments here, another two here, like two cell phone compartments. Uh, zip pocket, uh, and then another like flat pocket in the front here. And there's no back pockets, which is fine with me. But, uh, and then the little leather coach tag. But this was awesome to get in the mail today. And I love it already. I can tell I'm going to wear it tomorrow, obviously. But I can tell I'm really going to get some use out of this bag, and it's so, so soft. I would definitely say it's worth getting a Coach, uh, coach leather bag. It's so incredible. And the next little item, my last little item in this haul, also came in the mail today. Um, it is, what is this? The Tiger Snap Key Fob. And this was in one of my old hauls, but I have a key fob from Furla, but it's huge. Like honestly, it made my keys so crazy big and bulky. I still love that, but I needed something smaller. Um, just so my keys don't take up as much space in my bag. And I still really like the idea of having a key fob. So I found this one for like less than half price on their website. And I decided to pick it up and it's also a part of their men's line. Okay, this actually looked brown on their website, but it's not a crazy big deal for me that it's not. Um, it is the Tiger Snap key fob, like I said, and it just has their smaller coach card. Is that? Nope, that's not even right side up. There it is. Uh, it's their smaller coach card, but um, this is the little key fob, and it's actually pretty long, which isn't a problem for me, but it's thin, which is what I really liked about it and what I really needed because my keys just took up so much space, so like this huge... Uh, little hook here is really nice. I really like attaching my keys to my bag and it's just really easy and convenient for me. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on any of these items or if you want to see them more up close, just leave a comment or send me a message and I will definitely answer your questions or whatever. Um, thank you all for watching again and if you have your own hauls, just leave a comment and let me know because I'd love to see them. I love watching hauls and lately I've been really liking like Coach and Michael Kors hauls, not something like Louis Vuitton or uh, Gucci or the stuff that I'm used to. Uh, it's nice to kind of go a little bit lower end but still get nice stuff at a good price. So um, again, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon.